Hey it's Amy, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm not going to call this a no makeup look. I'm going to call this a no foundation makeup look. And that's, that's what I'm going to share today. I want to create something that's dewy but fresh. It's something that I would do if I, you know, just didn't want to wear foundation, but I just wanted to look pulled together. That's a look. Now, this is not a look that if you're wearing a mask, it's going to stay on. I'm just going to tell you that right now, okay? But this is just a nice, fresh look. If you just, even if you're at home and you're like, I feel like pulling myself together, that's what this is going to be. I can do this pretty quick, but I'm talking, so it's not going to be that quick. So I'm going to be a long video, but I'm just telling you that. I'm not going to do my eye look. I'm going to do something with my eyes. But I'm not going to do my whole eye look because I'm going to be filming another video, kind of like a chatty get ready with me. And, you know, in that video or at the end of the video, if you like the way my eyes look, maybe I will share it in another video. All right. First thing I have to do is I want to prep my skin. So I'm going to go into my Charlotte Tilbury. This is my new one. I just got a new one. And this lasts me a while, you guys. I've told you that. That's it. That's all you need. And I'm going to put that on my face. I use this under my foundation too, but if I am using a foundation that is really, I know that's going to be really dewy, then I don't use this, you know, if it's, I want my makeup to stay on under a mask, I won't use that, okay? If you are somebody you're like, I need to wear foundation because I just have a lot of sun damage, well, what you can do, we're going to talk about this, okay? you can use a concealer in those areas okay now I don't have one that is I'm gonna try one but I don't have it right now okay but the one from NARS even though I'm not a big NARS fan um supposed to be good for your face and someone that comes in a little pot thing I used to have one but it was way too bright for me I need to get one that's matched up so maybe next time I go to Sephora I will look at those but if you use something like that to spot conceal on your face. Don't use it under your eyes. Do not use that one under your eyes, okay? But if you use it to just spot conceal, you'll be able to conceal your your uh, sun damage, okay? If you, even if you have a lot of it, then you can go in with a color corrector first. Let me show you one. And you know what? Maybe I'm going to use it today, actually. And it depends. Like, this, what I'm going to show you, could depend on my skin. I may not have to use something like this. It just may depend. And there's there's actually one more too so I'm going to show you both of them okay so it really depends on what you want to do and then I have a powdered version if you're going in and you have some redness you can do something like this this is from it cosmetics and this is their bye bye redness okay so what it looks like now there's different colors so one that I have it's kind of messy um, but that's what it looks like so it's got a lot of that peachy undertone to it so if you do have redness it just kind of filters it out so it doesn't look so red and I do have a little bit of redness here today I don't know if it's picking up on camera but I can see it so I'm gonna use this today okay another thing you can use now this I feel like this would probably work better under a foundation okay um, but it works really really well this one is from Daniel Sandler and this is his color corrector okay so again if you have some redness this will work for that. Did I scrape my nail already? No. Okay. I just polished my nails and you know how that goes. <laughs> it's very high maintenance for me. I don't know if I like this color either. So let me do this first and I am actually today, I'm going to go in, see do I have a brush I can use? I feel like I want to use a brush for this today. Um, I'm going to have to clean this. I'm going to use the, I'm going to use this brush. This is from BK Beauty. I'm going to use this one today. It's for eyeshadow, it's clean, it doesn't have anything on it. And I'm just going to go in with my mirror, and I'm just going to, you don't want to use a lot of this. That's a lot right there, so I'm going to, i got to make sure that I'm putting it in enough places, because I'm not kidding, this stuff is like, I don't want it to look like I have foundation on, I just kind of want to put it in certain areas where I feel like I've got some redness. See, right there, I'm just kind of dotting it on. And then I'm going to blend it out right there by my scar, of course. Right down there. So what I'm saying is you don't need to use a lot. And it will blend in with your skin, okay? It will. So don't worry. It's not going to look like, oh my God, I got, uh, I have like this and it doesn't. No, it, it'll all end up blending out into your skin, okay? That's a question I get a lot. 
So I'm just taking this and just dabbing it in. So this is where you don't want to use a sponge. We want to use something like this. But you can see already, look at how the redness is kicked out. I didn't like this at first, um, but I'm starting to like it because I'm learning how to use it. You just don't want to use a lot of it. And honestly, I usually don't do this. So I'm going to put a little bit by my eyes here. I still want to put a concealer, but I have some redness even up there. I'm just very lightly, I'm hardly putting anything on there. If you're using an eyeshadow brush like I am, you just want to make sure that you're, it's clean. But you don't ever want to go in with a brush like this. You know what I mean? You do want to make sure you're using a small brush because you just want to keep it in this area and you just, you'll have more control with a, with a small brush. But look at already how that has made a difference. Please do not tell me about that I didn't pull my hair back, okay? I don't really care. Um... I don't know why that bothers people. Sometimes I will see it, but here's the thing. Um, I'm letting my hair air dry today. If I pull it back, it's going to look like shit. So I can't clip it back. Now I do have a powdered version too, but if you have a lot of redness like I do, I feel like I have a lot more today. I don't know why. Um, then you're going to want to use something like this as opposed to the Color Science one. So now... I'm actually going to go in and I want to do my eyes first here. So I'm going to go in and this is something I picked up recently and I'm really liking it. This is from NARS and this is their, this is their eyeshadow primer and this is in the color light. They have different colors. Uh, I really like this though. I still like my Trish McAvoy but it's nice to have another option. So I'm just going to blend this. Now you could take a brush and blend it out too, but I'm just going to use my finger. Look at that already. What a difference, right? Next thing I want to do is my concealer. I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail Sicily Concealer. It's the best way to apply your concealer when you are a mature woman. Do not do it the way you see these people blobbing all that sun, all that <laughs> under eye concealer. You're wasting it. And the more product you put under there, the more chances it's going to settle. Like, I don't have lines underneath my eyes, you see that? But when I smile, I do. So if I put a bunch of product on there, it's just going to highlight. So we don't want to do that. So just I've shared this trick, but I'm going to, you'll see me do it. I'm just going to put it right here. Like that. God, look at already what a difference, you know? Without even blending it in, it's like, holy crap. Now I'm going to take my concealer brush that you get with it. And that liner brush that I just used, it's just an eyeliner brush, like to apply eyeliner. That's all it is. So you just want to get a tiny one like that. Look at already how awake it looks like my eye looks filtered. Now, this is stuff you do not have to do. I just like to do it. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder and I am just going to apply a little bit of powder there. I just like how it kind of, um, see how it looks like soft and a little bit more blurred too, just with that powder. And I'm using very little powder. I'm not like, I'm not putting more on, I'm just blending it. Now, let me look at my face. I feel like I have a, just a little bit more redness over here, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this. This is from Color Science. I've shared this so many times with you guys. This is that powdered color corrector. It tells you on the back what each color does and what it color corrects. So you know, like, this color, that's, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And it also comes with this little brush. So this is the one that color corrects red. I'm going to go in there with that. This is the one I probably use the most. I wish they would sell these separately, to be honest with you. Because there's some that I don't use very often, but if you have brown eight like spots, sunspots, there is one in here that helps color correct that. It's really, I I just freaking love this. But anywhere I see a little bit of redness that that didn't get, I'll just go in, and I will tap this on. So let's get into let's add a little bit of glow. Now I don't want to use a powder glow. I want to do something different because I really want this to look fresh. Okay. Um, there's different ways that we can do it. I think I'm going to do it this way today. You can use this. So you can use this 
okay, but I feel like it might look a little too makeup-y. So instead of that today, I'm going to go in with this. This one is from Chanel, and this one I think was called Blurred, and they probably have some that are similar to this. You don't have to get Chanel, just get whatever brand, but this one is one that's not going to just look shimmery, okay? So if you were standing by me, it's just going to look like my skin is glowing. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it right here, and you can see it already. See how it just gives my skin a little glow, but it's really pretty looking. I'm going to do the same thing over here. See that? It's just really, really subtle and doesn't look makeup-y. It just looks real, really fresh. Another one that's pretty, but is going to come off more makeup-y. Now, you will see makeup because I'm going to have blush on and everything, but this one from Gucci Westman is just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. And I could probably... I'm just wondering if I should put a little bit on. I'm not going to. I'm not going to because I'm gonna use a blush that has a little bit of shimmer, but you could totally put this on. Let me show you. Like, it, see the color of it? If I put it on here, it's still really subtle. Do you see how subtle that is? It's really pretty. Now, something I wanna share with you guys about using a highlighter. If you're gonna use a highlighter and you're like, you have wrinkles up here, and you have texture up here, this is the one you want to use. You want to use something like this, okay? Because anytime that you are putting a highlighter, wherever you're putting it, you're drawing light and attention to that area. So if you don't want to highlight your lines and wrinkles or texture or whatever, you do not want to use anything with a shimmer, okay? I'm going to use this today, and i got to make sure that I got the right one. Is this the right one? No, that's the other one. So I'm going to use this today. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Glowgasm. I hate the name of it. Um, and this one is in the color pink, I think. The pink, pink gasm. Let me rolling my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it right up here because that's where I like to put it. Okay. And then I'm going to take a brush. I think I'm going to take this brush. This is my refer brush number four. And I'm just going to... See, this has a nice little glow to it, too, which is really, really nice. It's a nice blush with a really pretty glow. Now, another one I could use is the Daniel Sandler. Look at that. Oh, God, it's just gorgeous. It really is. Um, Daniel Sandler has beautiful watercolor blushes. I love those. I didn't even squeeze this, by the way. Okay? You don't have to squeeze these every time you use them. Usually, there's product left down there. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. And you see, when I put the blush up there, it kind of pulls my face up. As, unless you have plump cheeks as a mature woman, don't put your blush down there. I'm just, just going to tell you, don't. Let me get the rest of my makeup on. Let me get my eye look on, and I'll be right back. Because I'm just going to put a little bit of a blurring powder on. The one that I'm going to use is a hydrating blurring powder can't speak and this is from Jouer you guys know I've shared this with you guys it's it's gorgeous so let me put that on it's a nice light powder that's not going to look powdery I could go with the Charlotte Tilbury but the thing I like about this is it is hydrating so even though I'm, it's going to kick down my shine a little bit it's going to keep my skin um looking glowy and I want to have that glowy look I want to, um, I'm going to put a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on me too. Okay. Not that dry. So the lipstick I'm going to wear today is, I'm going to go in with my, I know you guys are probably going to be like, oh my god, not again. Michelle Tilbury. <laughs> Let me wipe my lips off a little bit though. Pillow talk. And I'm going to go in with this lip color today, YSL, and this is in the color 44. I love this, but it's not long lasting, so. But I love the color. Get my hair. See how my hair dried? What time I was doing all that? 
This is just Living Proof Flex Hairspray. That's what that is. Look at my hair. I mean, is that insane? I used to get perms. I don't know. So I just go with my hair now. If it wants to be curly, I'm just letting it be curly. I like to wear my hair straight. And when my hair is in better, like I just still have a lot of color to grow out. I still have blonde on the ends. Once it's all going out, I want to start to straighten my hair again because I really like the way my hair looks like when it's straight. But it's just too much too much heat on my hair. It's too much to straighten it out with the dryer and then I have to go in with a flat iron. If I do that all the time, it's just, it's just too much for my hair. So, um... Okay, so this is my no foundation makeup look. I think it looks really nice. Now I did put some false lashes on the end. I did a tutorial on that, um, but you don't have to do that. But I just put some on the end. I didn't use black ones. I used brown today, but I, black would look a lot better. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, okay? But I just didn't want to cut up my nice, my, I didn't want to cut up these lashes. These are my favorite. This my MAC 33s. Love them. But my, my eyes, my lashes are growing like crazy lately. So I really didn't even have to do it, but I just did it for a video just to do a tutorial. But um, I want you to see what my makeup looks like close up. So you could do this a lot quicker. I did a lot of talking in this video because I want to explain everything. So you don't have to, I don't have to wear a foundation if I didn't want to. And there are days that I don't wear a foundation. You don't have to use a powder at all. I just did it just to kind of melt everything together. And if you feel like you put your powder on and it feels like it looks too powdery and you don't want that look, MAC Fix Plus will just melt everything together so it doesn't look powdery. It'll look really, really pretty. So... And I could have just done a simpler eye look, too. I could have just done, like, a, um, I don't have it in front of me, but in any case, you could use either. I could have used the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood, what's it called? The, the, you know, the bronzer and the highlighter that I have. I could have done an eye look with that and just kept it really, really simple. I just want to do something a little bit more because I'm doing some other videos and stuff. Um, but that's it. Could do a no you could do a no foundation look and just cover up some redness cover up some brown spots with some concealer spot conceal and look how fresh it looks and i'm not even wearing a foundation so you don't have to wear a foundation you can still do your eyes and all that and put a little bit of blush on um and i didn't even wear bronzer today it's just a it's just a different way to wear your makeup so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that i gave you some options if you are you know, you're like, I don't want to wear foundation every day. I hope this is uh, another option for you. And if you have any questions, let me know if there's any videos you want me to share that I haven't shared, something I haven't talked about, something you're struggling with, with your makeup or whatever, and you're just having a difficult time, please leave it in comments because if it's something that I haven't shared or whatever, you know, I can share a video on it and help you. So please leave that in the comments below and that is it you guys thank you so much i will catch you guys all in my next video